Spread the Kasha Kuala coming back at you with another lesson, giving all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh by Hashem Rechapadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ruling to teach well. Peace of salutation to the elect 144. Uh, first fruit. Um, this is going to be a fairly quick lesson. I have James 5 up here. Uh, pretty much going to be pertaining around having patience with your with the bros around you. You know, this is specifically with bros that are, you know, around you that you deal with on a week to week basis. Okay. You just have to exercise patience with them. All right. Don't because the Lord exercised patience with you. Simply, simply put, you know, so this is James five and nine. It says, grudge not one against another brethren, unless ye be condemned. Behold, the judge standeth before the door. All right. All right. So that's a heavy uh, point right here in verse nine, which says grudge not one against another. Uh, and that word grudge means to murmur. All right. Or sigh or groan. It says to sigh or to groan. It means to murmur. It says with grief, uh, pray in in audibly, audibly with grief, groan, grudge, sigh. It says in straits to make in straits, so like yeah, to make in straits and to sigh, right? So you shouldn't be doing that against a brother, all right? <clears throat> Grudging against a bro. It says grudge not one one against another. All right, just have patience. Instead, have patience with them. You know, anyone, anyone who, you know, may get irritated or something easily. You know, you need a. I'm speaking to myself really, because I, I, I do have the uh, tendency to get irritated easily <clears throat> when I should just be exercising patience. So there is no type of irritation or annoyance that comes. Uh, within myself because really when someone gets irritated it's it's really on them it's really them they're allowing themselves to get irritated um i will keep mentioning this there's a um, there's a word that uh, the deacon in our camp barzal he said that always oh, i love i love this word on if i can find it I think this is the word. Nah, this is not the word. I think it's like un unflappable or something like that. Um, let me just see if it pop up. Yeah, unflappable. That's it. It says showing, having or showing calmness in in a crisis. All right. Now let's get what that word crisis means real quick. Because I do want to make a point. All right, there you go. A time of intense difficulty, trouble, or danger. Simple. Now, a crisis can be natural disasters or, you know, something had, you know, a government shutdown, blah, blah, blah. Or it could just be as simple as you're going through a little situational period in your life, which is difficult, which in turn is a crisis. But you going through that crisis, you show complete calmness and soberness of mind, all right? And in this case, what I'm speaking about here in this lesson is you may be going through a quote-unquote crisis that stem from another brother, you see? But you stay unflappable and you show your calmness, okay? And you show your patience toward the brother, okay? That's simple. Because, you know, even if the situation arises, you can see how things play out. Maybe that brother didn't even have control over whatever was happening, too. You know, so you can't just sit there and just be upset or mad at him. All right. Just have patience with him. Because I'm sure, you know, you would want patience from another brother if it, it was taking some extenuating, if that's a word, time to do something or accomplish something or whatever it is it may be or you know every brother has their differences and we have to you know kind of see what kind of person that brother is you know sometimes one of it may seem off but that just may be the personality of the bro you may have to just you know 
dig into his his morals a little more, you know. But we all have personalities, okay? And you know, some personalities don't resonate with others. That's that's just simple, but you exercise patience, okay, with the brother. So let's go to verse 10. It says, Take my brethren, the prophets, right? Because the bros you're around are prophets, okay? It says, Who have spoken in the name of the Lord for an example of suffering affliction, which was what? It which is what? Being unflappable, okay? Unflappable. All right, being make sure I say it right. <laughs> being unflappable, which is having or showing calmness in a crisis. So take our brethren and our in the prophets that are around us for an example of suffering affliction. All right, suffering certain pitfalls and you know monkey wrenches in their lives and things of that nature. You know, you recognize those things. Uh, that's what is it? That's, again, I'm back in Philippians 2 because that's just a great, a great chapter, man. Okay. It says Philippians 2 and 4. Now I'll start at 3. Let nothing be done to strive for vain glory, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem others better than themselves. All right. Look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. And that's not saying in the sense of being nosy, but just having consideration. All right. So we consider the fact that, you know, that brothers go through suffering afflictions. OK, which suffering is a synonym to patience. All right. So it says for an example of suffering affliction and of patience. All right. So let's get the word affliction. I mean, uh, suffering and patience in this. Strong's G2552. Karkapathia. 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 I mean, that, that's, that whole meaning right there is suffering, affliction. All right. It means to suffer the suffering of evil, which we know evil means a bad time. All right. We all have our bad times in our, in our own relationships. You know what I'm saying? All right. Give me one second. Slopping, slopping, dog acting a goddamn fool. <laughs> but anyway, he says the suffering of evil. So like I was saying, evil means bad times. We all go through our bad times. Like I was saying, even if you're in a relationship, if you have a rib or anything of that nature, a woman, um, y'all go through your ups and downs. All right. But you have patience throughout the, the bad time or that storm to, you know, you know, realize that, quote unquote, the grass is greener on the other side. You know, uh, this, the sun will shine again. All right. It says trouble, distress or afflicted. So let's get that word patience real quick. All right. Give me a second. And this word patience. Strong's G 3115. Makrathumia. 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 And that means patience, endurance. Ooh, that's a good one. All right. It says uh, constancy, uh, steadfastness, and uh, perseverance. See that? All right. So you persevere through things. Forbearance, long suffering, slow, ooh, slowness, and avenging wrongs. That goes back to the book of Romans where it says we, we aren't, you know, we... Vengeance isn't ours, all right? We are not to avenge ourselves, but we are to have patience and long-suffering and understanding. It's a lot for one moment. I got animals and they be annoying as hell sometimes, but you got to exercise patience. <laughs> All right. So it says, uh, take my brother and the prophets who have spoken in the name of the Lord for an example of suffering, affliction and of patience. So with one another, 
we have to have patience. And then the last verse, and I'm going to close it out, it says, Behold, we count them happy, which endure. Right. It says, Ye have heard the patience of Job, and have seen the end of the Lord, that the Lord is very pitiful and tender of mercy. So just have patience with the brother. And again, I'm speaking to myself. Now, you know, you got times where you slip and you fall short of the glory. That's it. You know what I'm saying? So just have patience with one another. Have understanding with one another. Now, don't get me wrong. You know, when a bro just going to slap the fuck off. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You you know that. But, yeah, yeah. but if it's in a sense of, okay, you know, let's just see how things play out. Just have patience, you know? So, Lord willing, this was understanding. Uh <laughs> edifying and yeah hopefully you understood you know um because of some things that i have to understand too uh lord willing was edifying and um until next time i want to give all glory honor and praises to you how about shimmy how was shy by shimmy uh double honor city apostles and elders great no stone to rule and teach well peace love salutation to the elect 144 first fruit brother kashkwala until next time shalom